everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this delicious steak and shrimp surf and turf. This came out beautifully and I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get started with the video. Begin by peeling four russet potatoes. Then cut your potatoes into pieces. When you finish cutting up your potatoes, place them in a large pot. Then add water and one teaspoon of salt into your pot and bring it to a boil. Boil your potatoes for 10 minutes and then check to see if they're done by piercing one of the potatoes with a fork. When your potatoes have finished cooking, drain the water from the pot. Then mash your potatoes. Once you finish mashing your potatoes, add 4 tablespoons of butter. Stir your butter into your potatoes until it is fully incorporated. While I was mixing the butter into my potatoes, I noticed that my potatoes had a few lumps, so I decided to cream them through a fine mesh strainer. I don't have a potato ricer, so using a strainer was my next best option, and it worked out perfectly. See? That is way fluffier than before. Okay, so after that I place my potatoes back into the pot. Then, in a small saucepan, I added one cup of cream, two crushed garlic cloves, and two sprigs of rosemary. I mixed all my ingredients together and let it simmer over low heat for about five minutes or until your cream mixture is fragrant. I got the idea to do this from a tasty video I watched so I wanted to give it a try. I'll have the link to the video down in the description. Then gradually add your cream through a fine mesh strainer. Make sure to fold the cream into your potatoes until smooth. Once you've added your cream, fold in 1 4th cup of sour cream, two ounces of cream cheese, a half a teaspoon of salt, and 1 4th teaspoon of pepper. Once your mashed potatoes are nice and creamy, you can go ahead and set them to the side. Next we're going to make our steak and we're going to begin by making a steak rub. 
In a small bowl, add a half a tablespoon of seasoned salt or regular salt, a half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano, one eighth teaspoon of white pepper, one eighth teaspoon of cumin, and a half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your steak rub to the side. Next, take out your steak. Make sure to take out your steak 30 minutes before you begin cooking it. That way your steak will be at room temperature and it will cook more evenly. Now rub some olive oil all over your steak. Oh, by the way, the steak I'm using is a ribeye steak. When you're finished, add a generous amount of your steak rub onto your steak. Make sure to coat the entire steak in your steak rub. When you're finished, set your steak to the side. In an iron skillet over medium to medium high heat, add oil. When your pan is almost smoking, add your steak. When you're placing your steak in the pan, place it away from you so you have more control and you prevent splashing any oil onto your arms. This is optional, but you can also add a bit more steak rub onto your steak. Cook your steak for two minutes on each side. By the way, if you're not a huge fan of the fat on a steak, you can trim it beforehand and you can sear the fatty side so you can render it. When you flip your steak, add two to three tablespoons of butter, two sprigs of rosemary, two sprigs of thyme, and two cloves of garlic. Then, once your butter has melted, baste your steak in the butter. When you finish cooking your steak, place it inside the oven at 375 degrees for 6 to 12 minutes. How long you cook your steak in the oven depends on how cooked you want your steak. It'll also depend on how thick your steak is. My steak was pretty thick so it took about like 10 to 12 minutes for it to be medium well. However, if it's a bit thinner, it might take 6 to 7 minutes. Once your steak has finished cooking, take it out of the oven and let it rest for about 8 to 10 minutes. That way it'll become juicier. Next we're going to prepare our shrimp. Peel and devein seven large shrimp. Then, in a pan over medium heat, add some butter. Once the butter has melted, add your shrimp. Then season your shrimp. I season my shrimp with Old Bay, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. Then saute your shrimp for about 4 to 5 minutes. When you finish cooking your shrimp, set them to the side. After you finish cooking your shrimp, we're going to prepare our asparagus. In a large pan over medium heat, add butter. Once the butter is melted, add your asparagus. Season your asparagus with a bit of salt and pepper, and then add a bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice is optional. Cook your asparagus until they are tender and a bit flimsy. After you finish cooking your asparagus, you can plate everything together.
And this is the finished result. This came out great, it looks so beautiful. The steak was well seasoned and gorgeous. The mashed potatoes were amazing. They were just packed full of flavor and it was just so creamy and delicious. Those mashed potatoes might be the best mashed potatoes I have ever made because they were just, they were so good. I added some garlic butter on top of the shrimp and steak, which just made it 10 times better. The whole thing together was just delicious. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!